Welcome to Flashpoint Levant, a dynamic campaign server by the Lima Kilo community. In this video, we'll be giving a crash course on the basics and functions of the server and how to play. I'll be breaking up the video into a couple chapters to make it easier for you to view. Chapter 1 will be the lore and reasoning of the server. Chapter 2 will be the mission system. Chapter 3 is the comms plan, weapons loadout, and restrictions. Chapter 4 is some tips and tricks to help you get you on your way. Let's dive into Chapter 1. The scenario is an alternate history where the Lebanese Civil War led to Syria occupying Lebanon with assistance from the Soviet Union. In this scenario, the Syrians, during a surprise attack, pushed into various Turkish border towns but were quickly halted by the coalition. The time is 1989, and you, the player, take the place of the various coalition pilots working to liberate territory from the clutches of the Syrian government and topple the regime. The idea behind Flashpoint Levant was to give a place where older aircraft could have fun and be effective. It's a safe haven for those who love to mess around with modern aircraft in an older setting, or those who love the older aircraft themselves, like the F-5, Viggen, MiG-21, and all the others. Since this is a thematically 80s DCS server, this also means that there are weapon restrictions to keep everything fair and balanced for everybody, but we'll go over this in a later chapter. Flashpoint Levant's core is its DCT framework and ticket system. There's unlimited lives and spawns on FL, but not unlimited tickets. You gain tickets by completing missions and lose them through dying. You can recover tickets via CSAR if you successfully eject and are picked up by a helicopter. Although there's unlimited spawns, the mission will fail if the coalition runs out of tickets, so lives are important. Let's hop in game and I'll show you the mission system. Alright, here we are on the server. I'm starting up at Far Plane in my Viggen. So, let me go over the mission system, how to join a mission, how to join an active one that another player is doing, as well as some of the other features available. So, we're gonna hit backslash, open the DCS communications menu, go to F10 for other. We're gonna ignore the rest of those options for now and just focus on the mission. So let's hit F4. So here we should have pop-ups for request type, request list, join scratchpad, and join input code. We're just going to focus on request type and request list for now. So, request type. Basically we'll pull up available missions from airframe, and from here you can just pick a mission, it'll pull one from the pool, and give it to you. So let's do buy. Give it a second, there we go. Here's our briefing and our mission code, 5650, which is what we give to other players so they can join our mission. So here we have our briefing, primary objective, threats, and BDA. The BDA basically tells you if another player has somewhat done this mission, to what percent, as they've abandoned it or left the server, and it, the mission was returned to the pool. Alright, so let's go back. Let's abort this mission so I can show you the list menu. Alright, mission aborted. Alright, F4. Oh, give a second. There we go. Request list. So basically this will pull up available missions for you based on distance and type from you. Or I should say, you know, type and distance from you. Basically just another way to pick missions. Say if you're in a helicopter, you don't want to fly too far today, you can just pick one that's close to you instead of getting one randomly assigned that's pretty far away. So say... I wanted to join a mission, I wanted to join 5650 if it was an active one. So it's currently not an active mission, so therefore I won't be able to join it, but I'm going to show you how to join a mission just with that code anyway. So I'm going to hit join for input code, F5 for digit 5, F6 for digit 6, and F5 again for digit 5 to basically just type out 5650. Now it's going to say no mission ID available because it's not an active one that's in use by another player. But that's okay. So, back to the other things I was going to discuss. We have Scratchpad. Basically an outdated way of joining missions. The input code is much more user friendly and I'd recommend using that over that. So I won't be showing you how to do Scratchpad. And Theater Update and Check Payload. Theater Update, it's pretty useful when you first get into the server. Just to check, you get a theater status of force strength for both friendly and enemy, friendly air bases, neutral air bases, hostile air bases, missions in use by other players currently, which is the current active air missions, available missions for your aircraft, missions in the pool, and a recommended mission type. It's basically based on the theater status and how far we've progressed. So back to the mission menu. Let's see. Check payload. So there's weapon restrictions on FL, which will be discussed in a little bit later in the video. But basically, if you want to check if your loadout's over budget, you would just hit F3. 
It'll give you a little pop-up basically telling you what armament you have on your aircraft, if you're over budget or not, and how many points. So I've got nothing loaded on, so it says zero points for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. The year's 1989, so JDAMs and AMRAMs just won't be found here. CBU-105s and CBU-97s are also just not here as well. Now, basically, rule of thumb is if you're not in an A-10, you're going to be limited to two guided ordinances, basically, that, whether that be Mavericks or GBUs. Also, there's restricted air missiles for FOX-3s and some FOX-1s. This is to keep the balance of the server as, you know, some planes just with their missile loadouts and cap capability are just ridiculous. Rule of thumb for the Tomcat is basically you're going to be taking two Sparrows and two Phoenixes at most with Sidewinders to complement. Sidewinders are free. That's about it for weapon restrictions, so let's move on to just some tips and tricks for the server and wrap this video up. The server does have Overlord bot on 255 and 136. General frequencies are on 253. General ATC frequency is 249. So let's just get in some tips and tricks and try to get this over with. If you're a striker, get in chat or get on comms and try to organize a cap flight for yourself. If you're a cap flight, get on comms and be ready to escort people. Ask them, just reach out. Another tip is Mark 84s. They're really good. The server does use a damaged blast grip that models fragmentation pretty well, so bigger bombs are bigger boom. When a fresh campaign starts, just always be aware that there is an SA-5 near Bas al-Assad and another one stationed near Homs. Those are basically the first targets that need to go out in the campaign, so if you're looking to do some serious seed on a hard target, try to find an early campaign set. The missions aren't really meant to be done solo, although they can certainly be done solo, so get in chat and get on comms and reach out and make some friends. I'm Pierogi, and that's about all I got for the video. If you have any questions, reach out to me in the Lima Kilo Discord or to any of the staff there. That should be it for the video. I hope it helps you.